Hey, what's up? I'm Ka. It's cold in LA, which means it's like 50 degrees. And I'm wearing the same outfit as my sibling in Oregon, where it's snowing. But I'm comfy. Today I wanted to talk about some of the little guys in Modular, IntelliJ FSP, and resets. Alright, hold on. Before we go any further, I just want to clear this up. It's called the FSR, not the FSP. But as you can see here, it says force sensitive pad, hence why I got confused. But for any of you buying it, it's called the Intel IntelliGel FSR. All right, back to the video. Resets, don't use them nearly as much as I should, even though it's kind of a basic thing, but I've been trying to implement it more and I've been finding that it's a lot more of a creative tool than I initially thought. The FSP, possibly the most underrated playable module, especially for its size, possibly. Well, well, verdict's still out on that. But I do know it's fun. I've been having a lot of fun with it, but I don't see it in a lot of people's cases, surprisingly. Maybe it's just where I'm looking, who knows. So let's take a listen to the patch that I'm running and we'll walk through it and kind of explore together. We got PAMs on Master Clock, triggers, and switching. So we have all gates coming out of all eight of the, the outputs on PAMs. Bear gate is getting clocked from PAMs, and sending out the note information, the trigger and the pitch, to Manus, which is our main voice. We have our 2HP grain and disting right next to it, which is on the high pass bandpass algorithm, bandpass high pass. And we're only using the band pass in this patch. But Simulus right next to it is only receiving trigger and modulation signals. It's not getting any pitch information because we're using it just as our kick and hat. And then we got Mimeophone on effects. But the real magic of this patch is the IntelliGel FSP, the force sensitive plate. I have CV outputs on stack cables, one going to the mix of Mimeophone, one going to Deep in Manus, and that's also going to the filter frequency sweep of Disting, the bandpass frequency sweep. So as I touch that and put more pressure, it sweeps the mix of mimeophone and the deep um, ness, <laughs> the deepness of manis and the bandpass frequency from disting. Then I have the gate output of the FSP. The force sensitive pad or plate? I guess it doesn't matter to the mix of the 2HP grain. So that means that it's either full on or full off whenever I'm on or off the pad. And that adds some crazy accents and, and kind of pulls everything together. And for Barry Gates Reset, I'm controlling it with PAMs, which since it has adjustable gate lengths and strengths and all that kind of stuff, it makes it easy to dial in how long you want your reset to be. So right now I have it, so it'll reset, but the gate of the reset won't be, won't end, will not end by the time it's done hitting the second note. 
what? The reset signal being sent to Barrigate can be longer, which makes it reset multiple times before moving on. So right now I have it set so it'll reset about twice before letting go and, and moving on. So I'm using PAMS as well to switch the skin liquid metal on both Manus and Basimilis, as well as the base alto treble, like controlling that on, on both of them through gates. But that's fully adjustable. Now on Basimilis, if we're at about three o'clock on the harmonic knob, we get our like bouncy kind of tonal kick sound. And then we go to about mm, 10 o'clock, we hit our like super punchy kick. So I couldn't really decide which, so I just can't, like, I'm, I'm just switching back and forth. Alright, that's about it for me. If you guys learned anything or it sparked any ideas, or even if you have tips of your own you'd like to share, just let me know in the comments and I'll be looking out for them. Hope to see you there. Let's just jam out to end this. See ya. Goodbye. Sayonara.